we're in this weird Indian store and they've got a ton of like Gundam model kits and stuff like that but you know I don't do this kind of stuff I don't know too much about Gundam and she says half price you know she'll sell everything for half the price but once again I don't know very much about this kind of stuff I know a little bit about the Zoids but you know I'm not really into the Zoids like all that And this is, that looks like Takara. Yeah, it is 1998 Takara, so it might be some association of Transformers, but. It's a lot of them, a lot of Gundam. Actually, I wish my son Warren was here because he knows a little bit more about this kind of stuff than I do. You see something over there? Yeah. Uh, Hero clicks. Right oh, yeah, I see. Uh, see that's, like a, the... that's, a, that's definitely a Transformer. Yeah. Or something. And this is. That's Gundam again. Mm hmm. Who is that though? This guy. I, I recognize him, but I can't think of the name right now. Mm -hmm. There's another one here too. It's an original. Cause those might be cool loose. Yeah, I'll look around the other side. Excuse me, man. Open it up. It's cold machine. Oh, it's on. This is cold. Oh, it's working. Yeah, it's running. I guess so that you can see that it works, but it's cold. There's no drinks in there, but. Five ninety-five. Yeah. You can actually put drinks in it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's cool too if you had the space for it. Yeah. This guy's got some interesting stuff. Yeah. The train set, old whole scale train set. Eight ninety-five. Guess they just really want to get rid of that. Yeah. register up in there. Fisher Price Trom Viewmaster kit might be interesting. Those old stoves used to go for some oh, seven up spot phone. I wanted to sneak a peek at that real quick. I remember those old that uh, Fisher Price chalkboard thing. I had one of those when I was a kid. This is empty. That's neat though. Classic Viewmaster. That's cool. To the Colonel Sanders bank. Yeah. And some old board. Yeah, some vintage board games. Monday night football. There. See the Smurf. Oh yeah, Smurf spin around. Oh, look at the old McDonald's house. Yeah, Fisher Price McDonald's. That's really cool. No figures though. No. You never find the figures for that stuff. That's what you need. That's cool. Fifteen bucks. For URC fans out there, 
That's a nice solid box, actually. Recognize that, folks. Product people crackle. Thermos. These glasses are actually in really nice shape. LPH has found some, we finished looking at these glasses and she found some lunch boxes down here too. Who have you got? That everyone will talk about. Do you? Strawberry shortcake? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you just got that. I don't have popples. There's no box in here though. Popples? Yeah. Oh, this is each. Yes, that's each. Care Bears. Feels like the... Thermos is in there. It's kind of rusty. Thirty's not bad. Popples. Did you see these? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, they're clear on the outside. Obviously used, but one on the bottom's cleaner. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. What? General, yeah. Generally. generally. I was looking at these glasses. They look it's like the they got almost all of them. They don't have the roll on them. And this goes with those McDonald's glasses. They fit. Yeah, I think this might be from a second series. I could be wrong though, but yeah, those that's not bad pricing for the McDonald's glasses, and they're they're pretty clean too. Yeah. Oh, and then they have uh, who is this? Um, Muppets. Yeah, I know, but they got Jetsons. Oh, they got the Jetsons. Got Jetsons. And this is the old Welch's jelly jar. Yeah. Not something I'm generally into, but look how vibrant the color still is on this. This is really well kept, and that's not repainted. You can tell that's sprayed in. Still has the plug too. I think it's like what, seventeen dollars, sixteen ninety nine. Get in focus there. Got out of focus. There we go. That's really clean. It's an original sealed cuties. There's no price on it though. Oh, Snoopy. Sesame Street lunchbox. Got a fine mess. Yeah. What's in here? There's a vinyl lunchbox. Uh, Disneyland Small World lunchbox. Yeah. In vinyl. They got some more glasses. Yeah. And the Star Wars glasses. All in the family Archie Bunker card game. Oh, now that would be cool. See the McDonald's thing back there? Mech time? Yeah, what is that? That's cool. I don't think I've seen that before. Let me get back around there. All the original Mr. Potato Head stuff. Because mm -hmm. you know it's just the original Mr. Potato Head. It's just a bunch of really tiny like body parts and you would use real fruits and vegetables. Yeah. It didn't come with the potato. It was a Ronald McDonald wristwatch. Oh, it's an alarm clock and coin bank. The McTime. Oh, yeah. That's different. I don't think I've seen... I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that. Princess uh, Nisa Bank from Star Wars. Interesting. I like when I see something I haven't seen before. Lots of model train stuff. Yeah, I like all of them. Yeah. The diorama yeah. potential there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just kind of pan over this for a minute because I'm not, I don't really do model trains, but I do appreciate them, you know. I sold a lot of O scale stuff in my day, or G scale rather. G scale, O scale. Ho scale. 
It's kind of dark in here though. I don't know how well it'll come out on the film. But I can try. For those of you who are into train scale models. Walt Disney World Railroad. That almost looked like trolley from Mr. Rogers. There's a lot in here. Guess that must be this guy's thing. And for some reason, Wesley Crusher. Just there. Original etch a sketch in the box. Now that's cool. Look at the Batman. I'm oh, sorry, I'm hung up on that etch a sketch. Can't see the price at all. <laughs> you can't even see it. Yeah. And it's a cap gun. This is cool too. This basketball game, vintage basketball game is really neat. Tin litho and that Texaco fire chief hat. That's neat. Some DC superheroes and there's some toy biz in here too. And, oh, Beanie Baby's in the case. I guess no one told them that those bottomed out. Like some Marvel toy biz and more DC superheroes. Uh, there's a few on this side. Ball games. Is that Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Monopoly? You don't make a Monopoly for anything. Look at that. Transformers Monopoly. Vikings Monopoly. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Little kitty stuff here. Snow White in there. Bunch of Snow Whites and there's the set dwarfs in the bags. Uh oh, I see a chatter chain. This pull string is missing. That's terrible. These are always cool too and they don't go for much. Peter Pan. Who remembers these? Musical clocks. I'm not going to mess with them because I don't know if they work. <laughs> oh, look. Kool Aid Man picture and oh, glasses. With the cups. Yeah, with the cups. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Figures. Walmart aftermath now that the holiday is over. There's one of these still floating around. And the new standard ring for 1987. Good price for it, actually. Considering the era, the artwork is nice on this. LPH wasn't interested in it though. 
figures have still never shown up in any of the local Walmarts. But yeah, it's a mess down these aisles right now. It's the movie Megatron. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch there. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, people are waiting for the clearance. So you know, it goes down after the holiday. But yeah, it's a mess up these aisles right now. These are full price, four ninety seven, I think it was. Clarence toys, nothing really spectacular. Those might be interesting to some people. The Godzilla for nine bucks. Five on this playset. Nothing that great. What's forty dollars? And that's that's the sale price. Because I forget what the retail was on it. It wasn't cheap. It didn't do well. Classic Viewmaster projector. Little model. The Barber Beefcake. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. You don't see that too often. See, they had a Gremlins lunchbox up there, mm -mm. sitting on the shelf above the door frame. Oh, Mr. Fix It. Kids and some statues up there. A lot of graphic novels. Actually, I had to bring LPH back over here so she can see the graphic novel section. A lot of titles.
tons of manga. I never really got into the manga. My son likes it though. More of these. Oh, not tradable. No trading graphic novels. Denied. movie poster. That's cool. Did you see their graphic novels? No. I'll show you where it was. to look vintage. <laughs> it says vintage on it. Yeah. You know how they do that now. Giant turtle pez. With four, count them, four real movie sounds. G.I. Joe's. It. I think mostly newer stuff. There's a G.I. Joe Sergeant Savage. Nobody collects that. This must be the bargain bin. Star Wars and Spawn figures. A lot of them. With these. Oh, Babylon 5. I forgot they made figures of these. They made a, like nine inch dolls too. Doll size action figures, I should say. It's a very overproduced franchise. Star Wars. They made way too much of this stuff in the 90s. and dinosaurs. I used to play the video game on Sega Genesis. Muppets. Masters of the Universe. Peanuts. Oh, that's cool. The V. from LJN. Really tough to find these in a halfway conditioned box. They're always they're always yellow and shattered on the cello window. This one's got some sun damage too. Still it's pretty cool. of the glare. A lot of Mezco living deads. Some Hall of Fame stuff. Sitting in the Walmart. These are starting to surface. The Colonial Marines versus Aliens. They're really, really cheap. You can tell just looking at the figures. They're really cheaply constructed as a queen, too. price point on them is really low, like this thing is $15, see? 
and for the first time ever these are in here just one set sitting on the pegs never saw these in a store in any Walmart now there's one set sitting here it must be a return somebody probably bought multiple sets online and returned this set because they have like corner dings on all of them the corners are damaged somebody seeking perfection I guess